Hello the internet, it's Ghost here, and welcome back to another episode of We're Building Houses in Minecraft, because we can, and it's a quick video I can produce. Um, so today we're doing another one of the Tiger Biome builds, because I really like those ones, but we're doing them in different bl bl block palettes. Today, we're using mud bricks. Why? Because I actually think they're really nice, because they are basically just the warm tone version of stone bricks. Which is helpful, because it means we can do some variety in our builds when we want stony looking builds. Um, eventually, I'm going to change my mind about having the bark on the birch bird, and I'm going to get rid of it. However, for now, we're leaving it. I wanted to use like the birch stuff. It's, it's such a busy like bark that it just doesn't work for like roofs or things. Like... It's cool, it looks like cow print. However, it just doesn't work for most things, which is sad because I really want to use it more often. Um, it's also really pale colour and you kind of need something to go with it. There's not many blocks that necessarily go with it particularly well. It works as like a floor, but it doesn't really work anywhere else in houses, I'd argue. Um, so birch doors, they're not my favourite doors, but we're using it because block palette. Um, I don't know what house this was originally. I think it was like a butcher's house, maybe. I don't actually know, and I also can't be bothered to go back and check. We've already got over the block palette. Um, there's, I think it must be a butcher's house. There's a little area for an animal. Um, we're trying to make this Minecraft world realistic for people to like live in and stuff, so there's plenty of different things around. Um, apparently, I stared that for a while to try and figure out what I was looking for. Um, then I got more mud bricks again and then would eventually realise I didn't need that mud brick. I needed the stair version of mud brick. Trying to figure this house out was really difficult because sometimes where you're trying to build from isn't the way it's like orientated in the web page so you then kind of have to figure out where the bottom of the web page is in regards to the build and work that way around which is annoying because I like working from where the front door is you just kind of can't do that because I kept getting confused honestly I should probably just do it that oh I've died apparently that doesn't make sense it's literally 10 in the morning um it would make more logical sense if I was to say you know I don't know what I was going to say. Oh, we're using <laughs> we're using a mud brick wall. We haven't used that before. We need to use walls more. It's just people can kind of jump over them. They're not the most helpful. I'm going to keep losing my train of thought, probably. Um, I then started using this for the roof, which is eventually going to change. This roof was really annoying to do because it was trying to figure out where does each thing go, what direction is it meant to go, and then get it in the right order. And then we added torches because for once in my life I apparently built the inside of the house at exactly the same time as building the outside of the house, which never happens, except for this one specific build. I think there were a couple where we did have to do it to just try and figure out the layout of walls. Um, and then I'm going to continue to get really confused by the roof because it's not something I'm used to doing. Um, I tend to just go for fairly simple roofs when I'm just building like builds for my own imagination. We'll be getting more of those soon, hopefully, in theory. Give it like two more weeks and then I'll probably do something new. Um, I'm just dreading trying to build the windmill at the minute and I'm procrastinating that. I'm procrastinating most builds that are going to take any amount of time on this world. Um, finished adding in the tree. The tree? The roof. We, we're still adding the roof. Um, then I added the campfire in. At some point in one of these videos, I'm just going to have it raining because I have to let the web... Wow, I really cannot speak this morning. Um, because at some point, you do have to let the weather cycle run because otherwise it just keeps raining randomly. And we also try and avoid lightning because most of these builds involve wood. And I don't feel like having to replace that because I have fire spread on so that when I need to like clear a large area, I just light the trees and fire and let them burn. And then when I'm like happy with the amount of space, I just get it to rain and then it gets rid of the fire it works believe me it's a great and logical way to carry out your um terraforming however it's also sometimes mildly inefficient when uh, you then don't toggle fire off oh yeah so here's the point where i look at it and go that just doesn't look good and proceed to get rid of all of the birch like outside and just go for a simple plain color 
eventually I'm also going to realise I need to go back in that house and clear it from the inside. However, how satisfying is this? I mean, if I'd done it more logically, it would have been probably more satisfying. But just seeing it all disappear, there we go. And now the house looks a bit better. Am I happy with it necessarily? No, so I added the vines. I use vines when I don't like the way that like the roof and um, the walls look together because it kind of just breaks it back up and it looks better. Or at least that's my personal opinion about it. Um, and then what else are we going to do now? Well, look, oh, we, I think we're going to add it to like the roof and stuff in a sec because then no, we're not going to add it to the roof. I forgot I added it around the chimney. Huh. To be fair though, I did record this a few days ago, so I don't really remember much about what I built. Um, we then added a cow, give, gave it the animal label. I just keep that in my inventory so I don't have to redo it every single time. I looked at the house, went, yeah, that's cool. We'll go with it. Um, don't know what I did there. I broke it apparently and replaced it straight away. Um, and then I added a bed into the inside of the house because we're trying to make sure people can sleep in all of these houses. Added some storage trying to make sure it's useful then i added a lectern and bookshelves i feel the lectern isn't used enough but uh that's all for the video today hope you're having a good day the internet and goodbye i will see you all again soon